What is up guys, Madman12 here with some sad news today. As you can see I have the wallpaper of Resident Evil 2. You can see the two characters there of Leon S. Kennedy and Claire. And the sad news is, a lot of people may not know this, some people might, but the voice actor of Resident Evil 2, Leon S. Kennedy, um, the voice actor passed away. And it's a very sad day indeed. And this is him right here. Paul Haddad, I don't know if I said his last name correctly, but he passed away at the age of 56. Let me scroll down. It says here, Resident Evil News, Leon Kennedy voice actor Paul Haddad reportedly passes away. Rest in peace to an amazing part of our childhood. It says here, the voices of characters often can shape how we see characters. Voice actors mean a lot to us as consumers of media bringing to life the faces we come to love. Paul Haddad was one such actor. Known for voicing Leon S. Kennedy in the original Resident Evil 2. He was an iconic to a generation of horror fans. Paul in the past had battled and bested throat cancer. However, he also had a neurological disorder he'd been fighting for quite some time. He had a GoFundMe page set up for medical bills hoping to one day get out from under it, but it appears his surgery had been rescheduled due to the current health crisis. Scrolling down, it says here, according to reports, he passed away on the afternoon of April 11th. At this time, there has been no official statement from his family or any obituaries from Ontario, Canada, where he resided though many of his friends have taken to his Facebook page to mourn his loss. And right here, this says Resident Evil Wiki, I'm gonna read that. And it says, we recently been aware that Paul had had voice of Leon in the original Resident Evil 2 has died this week following a battle with stage three throat cancer, thoughts are with the family and friends. Then continuing the story, Unfortunately, at this time, we don't know how you can support his family aside from using the GoFundMe page mentioned above. He also appeared in Daymare 1998 before passing away. A testament to old horror games, Daymare devs and Vader Studios specifically sought him for the role. It ended up being his last. He will be greatly missed in our hearts here at Biohazard Declassified 8 at the loss of such an important member of the Resi family. We will be following this story closely and we will be updating as we learn more. And that's it for that. You can see there's some comments here. This is very sad indeed for us Resident Evil fans. Again, some people may not know this, some people might. But I wanted to share that because my cousin texted that to me like two days ago. And uh, he passed away April 11th, 2020. This is very sad. And I've always seen that game on GOG, the Daymare 1998, which I do want to get my hands on. It's like a Resident Evil clone. The reviews are not so great, but here's some screenshots of it. And you can see right here, there's some screenshots of Daymare, which is just like Resident Evil 4. Kind of has that over the shoulder view, you know, so. And uh, yeah, it's crazy. Let me close this out. So this is definitely a big blow to us Resident Evil fans. I just thought uh, that I would share this with you guys for people who don't know. Um, you know, now you know. And for those who know, you know, it's again, it's very sad because over the years from 1998, we got to you know know his voice in our heads and we got to know the lines of the games and you know we you know everybody's just huge fans this is just a huge sad loss and uh yeah so you know god bless his family and may god rest his soul because he will always be known to be the real leon s kennedy from resident evil and that's about it all right guys later